Here's how I draw any pose for my characters, even if I have no clue on how to draw that pose. For this, I need two things. One, a character. Two, a reference image of the pose that I want. Let's take Grumpy Grandpa right here and show you how I drew this pose from this image. For this process to work, I need to have a solid understanding of my character's basic forms. AKA, if I strip down my characters of all its details and bring it down to its base, do I understand the forms well? And can I draw it in different angles? The basic forms of Grandpa right here are these. This boxy head, and this blobby body. The key to drawing any pose for your character is being able to draw the core forms of your character in different angles. Think of this ability like having a 3D program in your head that can rotate the forms of your characters and hold that image and draw it on paper. In case you're wondering how to practice and gain this magical power that could destroy Narnia, just draw 100 spears, boxes, and cylinders in perspective and different angles, and you're good to go. With that, the next step, drawing the pose. I just use what I call the beanbag method to draw the pose that I want. First, I take the reference image of the pose that I want, and yes, you need a reference image of the pose that you want. I then look at the angle of the ribs and the pelvis in my reference image. I then copy that to the core forms of my character. So I start drawing the ribs and then the pelvis. And then I usually draw a beanbag around it to turn it into a solid form. Once I'm done with that, I do the same for the head. Notice the angle and draw the head form in that angle. And then I draw the extensions, which is the arms and the legs. I make sure to get the length of the limbs right and in proportion to my characters. So I use these little circles to denote the elbow and the knee joint. After this, I've got my core pose. It's all smooth sailing from here. I just draw the forms around the extensions of my characters. And once the forms are done and I'm satisfied with the base of my character, I then add the details that are unique to my character. Adding the details is similar to drawing the forms in perspective, which is each detail is like a little form that needs to be drawn in perspective, like this mustache, for example. That's why having those 3D form drawing powers are very, very importante. With that, I've got the pose that I want. I apply the same process for pretty much all my poses, just to study the reference, draw the base, and add the details. And that, folks, is how you get Kung Fu Grandpa and Fritz.